my name is Keely. Thank you so much for joining me today. I wanted to talk to you about how to decide which piercings you should get. Now, in the last couple of days, I've gotten two more piercings on my ears. You can see this one right here is new. And then I have this one up here. Prior to the last few days, I've had two holes in my ears for many years. I've always liked that look. Uh, and this week I really wanted to add a few more piercings and I have been thinking through this for a long time what other piercings I wanted to have. And I thought about my nose for a long time. Um, I actually really like the mouth piercings that are in either side of your lips. Uh, I like them on other parts of your ear as well. The conch was a place that I considered and I chose not to go with that this go round. Uh, here's some of the things that I asked myself when I was deciding which piercings I wanted. First of all, I wondered if I wanted to go to a tattoo parlor or not. Uh, if you get an ear piercings and maybe even a nose piercing, you can go to a pagoda, go to the mall, but anything that is angled or they can't get a gun to it, you have to go to a tattoo parlor. Uh, and at this time, I decided that wasn't something I felt like I could manage. The thought of a needle going through my ear, followed by a um, followed by an earring, was a little terrifying. So I've decided to put those off for a little while. Anything that requires me to have a needle pushed through. Uh, something else I considered was sleeping. And I know that might be kind of silly, considering this is a long-term thing, having a piercing. But for me, I really didn't want to give up my sleep at night, and um, I decided that the one inside of my ear, the conch, was not going to really help me sleep for the next several months. Now, when you get these piercings, especially cartilage piercings, you have to keep that earring stud in your ear for at least six to eight weeks without taking it out. But you should always have something in it for six months. And I wasn't ready to deal with six months worth of sleeping funny because of piercings on my ears. Over the last couple of nights, it's been a little painful even to sleep because uh, these piercings are new, this one and this one. So it is hurting a little bit and I have to keep them in. Uh, the other thing that I considered when I was getting my piercings was being professional. If I wanted to have a professional job, is a nose ring or some other piercing going to keep me from having that? And that's actually why I chose not to get the nose ring at this time. Uh, I decided if I needed to go work in an office that that might be a reason someone didn't want to hire me. This may not be a problem for you, uh, but for me and what I do with uh, my careers, that might have been an issue. Another thought that I had in thinking of which piercings to get was just, do I want to have this forever? I don't want to lose any piercings that I have put in. Not to say that a piercing is forever, but I really wanted to make sure that when I was deciding on my piercings that it was something I wanted long term. And I thought about how will it look when I am going in a casual setting or going in a setting where I'm more dressed up. Will I like the piercings still? Uh, as far as the mouth piercings, I really considered my uh, mouth health and uh, it's not good for your gums or teeth to have metal scratching up against it and for that reason I decided to not get the facial piercings. Uh, for a long time I wanted to have my belly button pierced and this was actually something I wanted to do even as a teenager. At the time I decided that I did not want to get it done uh, when I was old enough, I was 18. I was dating my current husband and I knew we would get married when we were pretty young and we did. We got married when I was 21 and I decided that we would want to start a family pretty quickly after getting married, which we did, um, and I didn't want to take a belly button ring out during my pregnancy. So that is one of the reasons that I chose not to get a belly button piercing at that point. Now I've chosen not to get it because well, I still have young children, and uh, for safety reasons, I've chosen not to do that uh, because I have to pick a lot of my children up. I didn't want it rubbing across my belly. 
Uh, and these are the kinds of things that I think about when I've decided whether or not I want to get a piercing. So if you're thinking of getting a piercing, some things you should ask yourself is, is it something you want to have long term? And if it's not, maybe you should just wait a few months and see if you still feel like you want it. Uh, the other thing is functionality. Is some, do you live the kind of life that is going to be okay to have a belly button piercing or a nose ring or other piercings? If you play sports, the nose rings and the earrings, this can be a real problem and you'll have to tape them up or you might lose your holes. If you have a belly button ring and you have children, you might have the same concerns that I do, that your kids will accidentally kick it or hurt you in some way. Um, and as far as jobs go, depending on what profession you wanted to go into, that might also be a deterrent for what piercings you get. Um, and as far as uh, also the other functionality of sleeping and being able to take it out, you know, you need to keep piercings in for six months nonstop. So you need to be ready to have that piercing in for half a year at the, at the minimum. So I hope this gives you something to think about, and if you do choose to get any new piercings, please leave me a message in the comments. I'd love to hear about it and find out what you chose to do.